How's it going, Fire fans? Welcome to Mindful Combat. If you're new to this channel, my name is Rohan. On this channel, I provide uh, boxing and MMA fight breakdowns, fight commentaries, and just discuss what's going on in the world of martial arts. I've been a fight fan, been a martial artist my entire life as well, and um, I'm trying to grow a platform. To grow my platform, I can't do it alone. I'm not good at social media, I've never been good at this and I need your help. So all I need you to do is hit the subscribe button, get involved in the conversation in the comment section below and share out this video to your friends and family who might be interested in fight fans right now, uh, who might be interested in fights and so on. Um, I do get tongue tied every so often so that's something you're going to have to deal with if you're, <laughs> if you're interested. Um, so just share out the video and, and let's help me to get some momentum going with the channel let's get the channel going. Anyways guys, for this video I thought I'd do a quick one. It's it's not a breakdown. Um, I'm just talking. Going to be talking about um, Tyson Fury's upcoming fight against Tom Schwartz, the significance of it, how we should kind of be looking at it, and I might even um, give a few quick thoughts on um, the Anthony Joshua knockout. And that's something I didn't cover because well, a everyone was covering it anyway. So um, you guys had all these huge channels covering it, and I didn't want to just get out a video you know just just to get views or nothing like that i like to try be the stuff that i'm incredibly passionate about is what i make videos about and um and that's kind of the reason why i'm not doing a breakdown on this fight because recent um, fights that are not competitive that i don't deem to be competitive i find it hard to do a breakdown on them because if i don't see at least some way that one of the guys can win that both of the guys can win then i don't see a point of doing a breakdown now recently um, i've done a breakdown of an mma fight um a women's mma fight that I just don't deem to be competitive at all. I might have pie on my face by the time you watch this because you might be watching this after that fight happened and I might be completely wrong. But I'm trying to stay I'm trying to stay uh stick to stuff that I deem are competitive for my breakdowns so or for this I just thought I'd share my thoughts. Anyway, long to build there. Sorry it took so long to get this. So anyways, Tyson Fury, the six foot nine, thirty year old undefeated lineal heavyweight champion of the world who in my opinion should also currently hold the WBC world title is returning to fight Tom Schwartz now this fight's been met with a lot of criticism since it's been announced and I, I suppose in a lot of ways rightfully so and that's on the back of obviously the Deontay Wilder fight everything that happened in the Deontay Wilder fight and any fight for either of the men which wasn't each other at that point would have been unacceptable to all the fans so this fight here that's coming up now a lot of people haven't been, you know, chuffed about it. But a lot of people in the boxing world that are deeply rooted in the boxing community actually give Tom Schwartz a lot of props and respect Tom Schwartz a lot for his skills. And I'm, I'm one of them. I do respect Tom Schwartz for his skills. Not to say that I feel like he's earned his um, shot at the lineal heavyweight champion of the world. I felt like the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder rematch was a given. But the fact that it didn't happen and this fight's been made, I thought it's all right. So, for some context. Tom Schwartz. Now, Tom Schwartz, he's only, what, 25 years old. He stands at 6 foot 6. I think it's 6 foot 5 and a half to be precise, but let's say 6 foot 6. He's 24 and 0 with 16 KOs. He's, he's an orthodox boxer. He's a very skilled boxer. He's got a lengthy amateur pedigree as well. And he's a guy that's been around for a while now. Now, in those 24 fights, he hasn't fought the upper echelon of the world heavyweight boxing sphere. And um, he's kind of fought mid-level journeyman fighters Investments probably like guys like Shannon Gashi who just fought Derek Chisora and guys like that so he's not beating the best of the best but at the end of the day this is the sport of boxing and the sport of boxing in theory the way it should work is that a young guy will come into the division work his way up the ranks and once he's assembled enough wins he'll get his uh, he'll get his opportunity to fight the big names and potentially win a fight for a world title at some point Shannon Gashi has won like intercontinental titles, he's won uh, your um, German titles, so on. So in a, in a lot of ways, he's fought every fight that's been asked of him in, on his path to getting his shot with Tyson Fury. Now, coming into the fight with Tyson Fury, he's obviously a major underdog for great reasons. But as Andy Ruiz recently showed us, we shouldn't dismiss someone just because they're an underdog. They, not, every, not every underdog is the same. Now, I don't feel like... If I'm honest with you, I don't feel like Tom Schwartz is going to walk away with a win, but I do feel like he has skills to make it competitive. Tyson Fury is not the biggest puncher in the world. He's not a brutal knockout artist, and what that means to me is that Tom Schwartz won't be discouraged by his his um, when he when he feels the sting on Tyson Fury's punches. I feel like he's still going to come forward, and I feel like he will try to make a fight off this. He's got skills. If you've seen um, Tom Schwartz fighting, he's got skills. He's talented. He does walk forward a lot. You know, he's got he's got abilities. 
and if he can survive the 12 rounds it is not impossible for me to see a situation in which he can connect on Fury and make the fight interesting he's not the puncher that Deontay Wilder was so he's definitely not knocking Fury out but he can make the fight interesting now if we take this with some context Muhammad Ali for example when he fought Sonny Liston he was only 19 and 0 I think he was only nine, uh, 21 years old, he was a young man and um, he got a world title fight on the back of that and no one believed in his skills and his abilities and he was able to shock the world. Mike Tyson, what was his record when he fought uh, Trevor Burbitt for a world title? He was uh, in his early 20s, um, he was obviously not aged, like, I think he had like 21, 22 wins so he had uh, you know, not very many fights and then he got his world title fight. When Tyson Fury fought for, um, not Tyson Fury, when um, Anthony Joshua fought for the, uh, his first world title, fair, fair, enough, fair enough it was against Charles Martin, not the likes of Tyson Fury, but he was only 15 and 0. Who had he beaten to have a world title fight? This is not even for a world title. This is for a guy who has lineal status and, in my opinion, is the number one heavyweight in the world, but he doesn't carry any metal with him to represent that. So, what that means is coming into this fight, there's nothing per se on the line except for status and with that status why shouldn't Tom Schwartz be having the opportunity to fight for it now if we're realistic about this the fights with uh, the fights with Deontay Wilder wasn't made for whatever reason it wasn't made let's not go into the products of that so Deontay Wilder wasn't available Anthony Joshua wasn't available because he was already um, being penciled in to fight Gerald Miller Dylan White at the time wasn't uh, I don't know what was happening with Dylan White but the fight with Dylan White didn't get made Okay, so whatever the situation is, the fight with Dylan White didn't get made. What that means is those three top heavyweights are out of the picture. When this fight was announced, Luis Ortiz was meant to be fighting Christian Hammer. Tyson Fury shouldn't sit out for an entire year waiting for Wilder or the big fights to happen. So he done the right thing by going after someone and he's chosen a formidable foe. He's chosen an undefeated young heavyweight prospect. You should never write off a hungry heavyweight prospect. Tyson Fury says it best himself. Who had he beaten before he fought Kalichko? Derek Chisora on two occasions. Okay, cool. Those are good ways he had beaten Christian Nama. No problem. But nothing that made people believe that he would be able to beat Vladimir Klitschko, but he went in and done it. So, if we're going to be truly sports fans, then we have to be willing to accept that sometimes some guys on up on the coming that we may not have heard of, I mean, I had, but that the casuals may not have heard of, will be getting an opportunity to shine. If, if fighting in professional boxing you don't come through the ranks, you don't amass the wins, you don't co go through the ranks and eventually get your shot at the, heavy, um, at the top, top dogs, then why are you boxing? What is boxing? We've got to give guys the opportunity and that's just my thoughts. I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to this fight on the back of Anthony Joshua's lost to Andy Ruiz. I remember in the heavyweight division anything can happen and this is a fight I'm really looking forward to and I think you guys should give it some time and have a think about it and hopefully Tyson Fury can come through with a W which I feel like he will and then we can see how the situation plays out going on in the future he said him and Wilder will be fighting each other in March of next year and I suppose that becomes for the top dog status in the heavyweight division I just cannot wait so that's a great fight and just quickly I'm just going to touch on the Anthony Joshua loss so, it's how, um, so Anthony Joshua who was meant to be fighting Gerald Miller come out got, uh, got, not, uh, got knocked out by Andy Ruiz and um Wow, so that's kind of sent the whole world into orbit. The boxing sphere has been dunked upside down on its head. And Andy Ruiz, the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world, has four world titles. He's a unified heavyweight champion. And he's almost a guy that everyone's talking about now. He's got a snicker sponsorship. It's crazy what's happened with him. It's kind of mad to think about the way it's played out, though, isn't it? Um, and uh, I, when you think about that fight and you think about Anthony Joshua coming into the ring and in that ring, it just looked like... A, he maybe didn't treat Andy Ruiz for the threat he was, and B, he felt like he was a lot better than he himself was. He got exposed in a lot of ways, and not in the sense that, you know, um, he got exposed in the sense that Andy Ruiz was able to catch his chin, and now you have to question his chin, because I have seen him, he got uh, dropped four times in that fight, I've seen him get dropped by a 42-year-old Vladimir Klitschko, who, yeah, historically was a heavy hitter, but at 42 years old, having not fought in two years, having lost his momentum should he have really been dropping Anthony Joshua I always felt that like Anthony Joshua was very good world class without without doubt but I always felt like he was a product of hype the British hype machine was behind him and I say that as a British boxing fan but I have to be truly objective in how I see these things because that's why I started this channel and of course this is just my personal opinion so I'm being objective from an opinion point of view so yeah I'm I'm really excited for Andy Ruiz, I'm really excited for the heavyweight division, what's going to play out, and I'll tell you what, the rematch with Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz, that has my attention, and 
this fight with Tyson Fury and Tom Short should have all of your attention as well. Anyway, guys, comment below. Let me know what you, let me know what you guys think about some of the stuff I've discussed in this video and and the Tyson Fury fight, you know, the Anthony Joshua fight, and the heavyweight division in general. If you're new to the channel, comment below. Let's have a conversation. Let's get talking about fighting, mixed martial arts, boxing, whatever you want to talk about. I love it all. And share out the video for me. So thank you for watching, guys.